So when I was applying for tech jobs, I applied to over 100 and got zero interviews. It wasn't until I changed a couple of things that I landed an interview at an early stage startup and eventually a job. Knowing what I know now, here's what I would have done to try to get more interviews. So the first thing I would have done differently is I would have reached out to more people for coffee chats via LinkedIn or email. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be applying for open opportunities. You should be. But one thing I should have done more of is more outreach and less just applying to as many jobs as possible. Now, the reason for that is because tech jobs get so many applications. The way to differentiate yourself is actually to get a referral. And one way to get a referral, if you don't know someone already or know someone who knows someone, is to go through coffee chats, to meet people who work at the companies that you want to work at and to get into conversations with them to talk about their work. So to do this, all you have to do is go on LinkedIn, type in the company that you want to work for, the job titles of the people you want to talk to, and then to just reach out to these people via connection notes and to see who responds to then set up some coffee chats. For email, you can use something called Apollo that gives you the emails of people that you might want to reach. All you have to do is reach out to these people and then that's how you can land some coffee chats. You want to be reaching out to alumni because alumni are actually more likely to respond. At least that was my experience when I was going through this process. The second thing that I would have done is I would have reached out to more startup founders. The early stage startup environment is honestly a great place to learn about tech, especially if you have no tech experience. It's a great way to learn about all the different parts of developing a product and developing a company and can be great if you want to break into fields like product management. The second reason is because early stage startup founders are actually more likely to take chances on people who reach out via LinkedIn or email. They're more likely to get on coffee chats with you because they are at the end of the day probably hiring and also looking for people who are willing to go out there and try to find opportunities for themselves. It's behavior that early stage startup founders like. So if you can show that you're that kind of person, if you are willing to reach out to these people, a lot of them will respond and not only get on coffee chats with you, they might give you an interview at their startup. And the last thing you want to do is while on coffee chats with people that have agreed to speak with you, you want to be asking about the problems and challenges they face at work because this is great material to cover at potential interviews. Let's say you meet someone who works at a company that you want to work for. If you ask about the problems and challenges they face on a regular basis and are able to understand what kind of work they do. You can then use this information for further coffee chats with people within the organization and then potentially even land an interview within this organization where you can then talk about what you learned about the problems and challenges that are faced by the organization and ways that you think these problems and challenges could be overcome. It shows that you're focused on solving problems for the organization, which is something that's always valued in potential hires. It's also great to mention that you've been doing all these coffee chats with people who work at the company because that shows that you are definitely interested in working at that company. So those are just three things I would have done more of when I was applying for tech jobs. Do more of these things and you will definitely stand out to companies and definitely stand out in interviews as well. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.